Peace and love, creatives. Okay, so I went back on Jackson's and I bought some more stuff. Why? Because I have a problem. Let's just open it up and see what we got because, um, yeah. So this one... I'm going to open up this one first because, I don't know, she's pretty. We'll take a look at the box before um, we get into it. So I'm going to move this one over. All right, so the box, minus the glare, sorry about the glare, uh, has a pretty face on it. And uh, there, I moved it out of the glare. And then on the back... <clears throat> it has all the colors that are in the uh, box, in the uh, set. Now, I got these two sets and I know that there are overlapping colors, but if I did it correctly, it should only be <clears throat> six colors total that I have overlapping. And I already have a friend that I want to gift it to. So they're not going to stay in-house and they're not going to go to waste. So here's the tin and I think it's really pretty and it's a nice, it's, it's a nice size. Uh, as soon as we open it, I come across a swatch sheet, which is with really, really nice watercolor paper. So I don't have to make my own swatch sheet. It's already provided and it fits in here. Um, and now with these paints, they're sticky. So that's going to happen. <sighs> okay. And also there is no name on them. So uh, let's, we're gonna have to fix that. I'm not angry at what ha is happening here because I mean, this is coming all the way from the UK. And if this is as bad as it gets, then I ain't angry. Okay, <clears throat> these are all set back in their place. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And we're gonna move on to the second set. And hopefully it's in a better condition. Okay, so this is the box that's curated by Andres Zeg Gossick. Okay, and then the colors are here on the back. And this color right here is my reason for purchasing any Roman Schmalls because of this color right here, which is the Cobalt Sea Blue PB28. It's gorgeous. Um, so let's open up this palette. okay and this one is 28 set i believe no 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 this is the 24 set so there's actually space in this one can you put more okay <laughs> all fixed and I kind of like squished it over so you can see that there's like a little opening for those and I'm gonna open them both side by side so that you can see um, the colors let's see do this. Okay, here we go I'm gonna put that there all right and then this is the 36 set and that was curated by Mona Amrani. This is the Mona Amrani one. So there's that. Now, um, so um, what I'm going to do now is uh, show you what is in here because there was a color that I absolutely wanted and it wasn't in the um the tins 
So uh, what I did get was a Mars Red, a Shadow Gray, and a Transparent Turquoise. And honestly, let me tell you, I wish I got Potter's Pink. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Uh, just in case you were wondering, like the paper that it's wrapped around, that's wrapped around it, I should say, um, feels like watercolor paper. It's really, um, I feel like they swatched it. You know what I mean? Right, right on there, which is pretty cool. I think that's exactly what they did. Okay, and this um, shadow gray um, gave me uh, vibes of paint gray. And the paint gray, um, I might not be a fan of, but I don't know. I might be wrong. So we're gonna see, we're gonna find out together. And then this transparent turquoise, which I don't know, I don't think it's transparent, but we're gonna find out together. And I won't put it in until I. What I want to do is I want to get uh, the names of the colors on the pens. Off camera, I used a Sharpie to put the names on each of the pans along with their pigment information and the product number. I don't know, there's like a three digit number that is attached to all of the paints. I also put that on my paint pans. While swatching some of these, most of them were very easy and re-wettable. Like they re-wet really easily, but some of them were not. Just an FYI, there are a couple of colors that took a little bit more elbow grease to get ready. Here's the first swatch. Now the second swatch, I ended up not recording the beginning of it. I'm sorry, but at least you can see the colors there. And um, also the bottom part, I, I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, I guess. I was too interested in just swatching, I guess. Um, so I did that, sorry, but I get, I show you. There you go, there's, there's the end result of my swatching. Uh, and then I uh, make a little space on the uh, swatch card for the three separate paints that I purchased and I swatch those as well. They're beautiful, by the way. Um, as for the art, this art was actually inspired by a YouTuber named Cian Draws. She has a, a, a channel that she does like unboxings and doodlings and a whole bunch of other things uh, and I'll put her information down in the description but she was unboxing um, a, a figure uh, called I think it was like na 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 or na na surprise or something like that anyway the character that she was um, unboxing or there was a picture of Oh no, no, I don't remember. But anyway, it was a cute little, um, like, she was just like a little chibi kind of character with a little cat ears and cat socks. It was just the cutest thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to draw something like that now. So I took inspiration from her unboxing and created this character. Uh, it does not look anything... Well, uh, I guess a little bit. It looks a little like the piece. I'll put a picture on the side so you can see what I'm talking about. But um, I just, oh my gosh, I enjoyed making this so much. She's adorable. I love the cat on her shoulder and how um, she's like looking at the cat on her shoulder and they're just like, hey besties. 
you know? Uh, that was fun. Uh, as far as these paints are concerned, oh my god, that background. The paint that I used is called um, Misty Morning, I want to say. And if you can see it on the palette, it's that pinkish blue on the top and then pink because it's separated and it did that just funky thing. And it also separates like that on the paper and does that funky thing. And I'm here for it. I'm, I am so here for it. So um, yeah, I did that. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to do her braids black, but then I was like, you know what? I want to lean more towards like, um, a dark blue than a black you know what I mean so that's what I ended up doing and I used the shadow gray for that I also didn't that's why I didn't do her braids black I didn't want her to blend in with kitty so I wanted kitty to be dark but her braids to be a little bit lighter so it can stand out and not just like you know be one blend of blob on her shoulder. For the most part, after swatching these paints and using them, they re-wet magnificently. There, there are a couple that don't re-wet as well, but I think it's just the makeup of those particular colors and not so much that, you know, they're no good or anything. I'm just trying to incorporate some blush on her cheeks and, you know, trying to make a little bit more definition around her face shading and all that good stuff
I was trying something new with the eyes. Well, I guess I, I wouldn't say new, but I was looking through some of my old art and I saw uh, that I did this kind of like style eye before and I was like, I think I'm gonna do that for this piece. And yeah, uh, I also put a lot of freckles on her cause I just, I don't know, I just love freckles. They're just so cute. Um, yeah. I feel like uh, I really enjoyed this piece. Uh, the character is a little bit more stiff than it should be, but all in all, uh, the piece, I really, really do like it. I think it's adorable. I think I missed the, like, the boat where I could have put like a vest on top of the shirt. That would have looked cute. Given the final touches and I'm, I'm pretty much almost done little shiny shines in the eyes and taking the tape off um, What do you guys think about this these uh, Roman Schmalz paints? Uh, I, I like them. I think they're really um, awesome. They perform very well. They're not chalky. They're handmade They're awesome. I like them. They're pretty cool uh, You can't wait for the next sale Get that Potter's Pink. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.